JC AutoCAD 2005, you know, starting with, I guess it was AutoCAD 2004, we've been introducing annual releases of AutoCAD. And 2005 was no exception as far as new functionality and enhancements to make the user more productive. What are your favorite tools in, that were introduced in AutoCAD 2005? Heidi, if we look at 2005, I really like to look at fields and tables. But let's start with tables first. Remember the old days where you had to use line, 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 offset, offset, offset to create a table? Well, now we can create as many different table styles for our revision blocks, title blocks and border areas, whatever we really need. But the other case that I like is the ability to use fields, fields in tables. Now, where do I use fields? One of the simplest things that I teach in our college credit courses or in our Autodesk Training Center is the ability to create a very, very simple, very simple plot stamp along the bottom of our drawing, right? And then what I'm able to do is to create custom fields that I apply to that plot stamp. On the other hand, let me give you an example that we use in industry. One company that I was working with designed stores and they were designing different areas in the stores and wanted to link the square footage to something. So what we were able to do was to create fields, link them to the border polyline borders, and then in paper space. Now you gotta understand, we're in model space, we're going to paper space, and there's that little trick of how to do that, and put all the square footage of all the different rooms right in the title block. So as we started to stretch or move those different rooms, the title block would automatically update using custom fields linked to those objects. That is a huge time saver and make sure that the drawings are accurate, right? Absolutely. It reduces errors. That's right. Great tip. Thank Thanks, you. JC.